Welcome to the topic of pneumatic circuit. Today we will understand how to draw circuit diagram for two cylinder sequence A plus, B plus, B minus, A minus. Here the sequence is divided into two group. This is even powered by even group. This is powered by E2 group. This resource supply from S1 line. This group resource supply from S2 line. First we will select a double acting cylinder. and a wall to operate the double acting cylinder for that we will use a 4 by 2 dc wall the connections of the wall will be such that when this wall is actuated that time the fluid should flow to the cap end of the cylinder and fluid we should return from the rod end of the cylinder this will connect to the compressor so that this wall can operate can be this wall will operate the cylinder and the exhaust port will be connected to the exhaust we can also use silencer for that this wall is pneumatically operated from both the ends so we'll select pneumatical operated bo at both the ends we need one more cylinder b like this so we'll copy and create a copy of the cylinder B. This end when gets actuated that time we will get forward motion of the piston rod. So we will call this as A plus. So here I have A plus I will move it here A plus. When this gets fired this end gets fired that time the cylinder will retract and that moment we can call it A minus. Similarly, we have B plus and we have B minus. As already told, there are two supply lines S1 and S2. We will draw these two lines S1 and S2. In order to draw the lines, we will take pressure, rotate it by 90 degree, rotate it by 90 degree we get one more and we will rotate it by 180 degree and we will align it like this now we will connect this to this and it will form a supply line S1 in order to align it we will select align copy and paste so we will have one more line now we will name this in order to name we can go and select text from here you can write in this g write s1 we'll copy this and here we will write s2 we will understand how to place the four roller operated wall before that we will use distance rule here now this distance rule will set the position of cylinder A it begins at zero position ends at zero position then A1 is the extended position of cylinder or piston rod at 100 mm so when the piston rod is here that position is A0 so A0 sensor will be activated when the piston rod is here at a distance of 100 mm A1 sensor will be activated similarly for <coughs> cylinder B we will write B0 at 0 position 0 position and B1 it begins at 100 and it ends at 100 now how will we place the four sensors A0, A1, B0, B1? A plus and B plus will form by S1 and B minus and A minus will happen by S2. As we get A plus, it means this piston will extend and A1 sensor gets activated. A plus, then A1 sensor gets activated. After A1 gets activated, A1 sensor, if we place here, it can allow B plus to happen 
that's why a1 will place here for that we will use a roller operated wall a roller operated wall will place it here we will change the properties of that we don't want it manually operated we want it to be roller operated and we can name this as a1 and this a1 will be connected to b plus now b1 b1 that is when b cylinder extends you will get this b1 b1 it will activate the second group e2 so b1 will be drawn down for that purpose we will draw a 4 by 2 wall here and we will copy this and we will place it here and this sensor will be named as b1 then b0 b0 sensor falls in second group and b0 sensor will allow a minus to happen so b0 will be placed here which will allow a minus to happen so i'll copy this and paste it here and this sensor will be named as b0 we'll name it as b0 and last a0 sensor it will activate even group so we will place it here so that it will activate even group and we will name this as A0. Now we have placed all the four sensors. This wall is pneumatically actuated. We will give pneumatic supply from both the ends. We need a compressor. actuate this wall will connect this to compressor and the end will be connected to exhaust b1 will activate this port this will connect to this a1 will activate this port this side is e1 so i will copy this this is e1 and E2 is here, so we'll copy and place E2 here. When S2 will be fired, that time this should be correct. This port number two should be connected to S2 line, and port number one should be connected to sorry, port number four should be connected to S1 line. Now we have placed everything. Now the connections. First, E1 will be connected. E1 will be connected. Then this wall will switch over. E1 gets connected. So S1 line will get supply. S1 line will get supply. As S1 line gets supply, A plus should directly happen. It means A plus should be connected to this line. This this will connect. After A plus happens, this piston will extend, it will leave A0 sensor and it will contact A1 sensor. When it contacts A1 sensor, that time B plus should happen. So A1 will allow B plus to happen. Now we need to give connection to A1. A1 falls in first group, S1 group. So it will get supply from S1 line. Then when B plus happens, that time B1 sensor will be activated. When B1 sensor gets activated, it will activate E2 side of the wall. So B1 it falls in in S1 group. So B1 should get supply from S1. So we'll connect this to S1 line.
now when <coughs> s2 is fired that time first b minus should happen b minus is here that should be fired by s2 this will connect this will connect to s2 after b minus happens that is this piston moves to its original position or initial position b0 gets activated b0 is here and what will b0 do it will activate a minus it means b0 should be connected to a minus and b0 falls in s2 group so b0 should get connection from s2 connection from S2. Afterwards A minus will happen, this cylinder will retract and A0 gets activated. Now A0 gets connection from S2, will before connecting that we will use a roller wall and we will make it a push button and the push button will be manually operated this one is the push button okay now through this we will give connection to and this a0 and this start button will be connected to s2 line so we'll connect this start button to s2 line now are the connections okay how will we check that we can check that by pressing this start button now no errors it means connections are okay when i press the push button i should get a plus then b plus then b minus and then finally a minus this can be seen we are getting a plus then b plus then b minus and then a minus We can also simulate this in a real time and it will work like this. If you want this cycle to repeat continuously then this can be changed to detent type of switch and when we run the simulation it will keep on happening this is not a detent switch by mistake different switch was another switch was selected now if you want to simulate in slow speed we can use slow speed we will maintain it as here you can see in, see in slow motion now s2 line is powered b minus is happening b0 gets activated a minus is happening after a minus a0 will get activated this one A0 gets activated, it activates E1, E1 activates S1 line, as soon as S1 line is activated, A plus is happening, now A1 sensor will get activated, this got activated and B plus is happening, now B1 will get activated and B1 will activate E2, E2 will activate S2 line, that is activated, as soon as S2 line is activated, B minus is happening, after B minus happens, B0 sensor gets activated, this will make a minus to happen and the cycle will continue.